So now let's talk about Amazon GuardDuty. GuardDuty helps you do intelligent threat discovery to protect your AWS accounts. How does it do it? Well, it has machine learning algorithm, performs anomaly detection, and uses third-party data to find these threats. So to enable it, it's just one click, then you have a 30 days trial. You don't need to install any software. So GuardDuty is going to look at a lot of input data, such as your CloudTrail event logs to look for unusual API calls or unauthorized deployments. It's going to look at your management events and your data events. So for example, on the management side, the create VPC subnet event and so on. Whereas on the S3 data events, for example, get object, list objects, delete objects, and so on. And then for VPC flow logs, it's going to look at unusual internet traffic. It's going to look at unusual IP addresses. DNS logs to look at EC2 instances sending encoded data within DNS queries, which would mean they're compromised. And Kubernetes audits log to find suspicious activities on your EKS, your Kubernetes cluster compromises. So we can also set up event bridge rules to be notified automatically in case you have findings. And then these rules can target whatever a brand bridge can target, such as AWS Lambda or SNS topics. Also, this can come up in the exam. GuardDuty is a very good tool to protect you against cryptocurrency attacks because there is a dedicated finding for it. So it knows how to analyze all these input data and find that there is a cryptocurrency attack. So to summarize, we have input data such as VPC flow logs, cloud trail logs, DNS logs, and the EKS audit logs that will go into guard duty and will generate findings automatically. These findings can trigger automatically event bridge events, which thanks to rules can end up in Lambda and SNS. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it. And I will see you in the next lecture.